Let's get this thing kicked off. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Commence. So what I did was, I just went back and it's just going to be one main quest that incorporates all the rooms. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we can put in the request that give you the link right away. You should have the article right away. Yeah, Some real hacking going on here. This one is right here too. <laughs> we are currently in the throes of a 24-hour hackathon. And we are seeing everybody right now completely engaged with either developing something or putting some kind of gadget together. We have a Tesla, um, which is a microcontroller that runs off JavaScript and Node.js <laughs> specifically. And then we have like an accelerometer. So we're trying to use the accelerometer and the Tesla for something. We haven't decided what yet. For the students, I think it's just um, depends on what level you are. And that's the beauty of our hackathon. You see a little bit of everything. You see students that maybe have never coded, don't know much about it. They can just come and sit in the middle and learn. Whereas maybe you have some that are more experienced. They could have that next application that um, could go big. So um, we just hope they come. They get in the middle of, of creative thinking and innovation, learn something, take something away. Oh yeah, free food. That was the big one too. Is like somebody asked, is there going to be free food? Well, yeah, I guess. Then sign up. You sign up. You're a starving college student. You sign up. Well, I'm not really starving, but okay. <laughs> there's snacks, there's beverages, we have energy drinks. Just go in at any time, grab whatever you need, um, stay fueled um, so that you have the energy to go the full 24 hours. Uh, we're working on a, a game you can play with your phone and network with, with your friend and you can both play the same game at the same time. It's actually uh, augmented reality. You'll be able to see through your phone a 3D object on a table. You'll both be able to see the same object from different views and then you can interact with it. And it'll be like a kind of a social game you can play. So hopefully it all uh, happens. I think the big thing is it's to get them familiar with the fact that it's pretty easy to get started as a programmer. Um, there's a lot of people come to these events that have never programmed. Um, they may be interested in programming itself, they may be interested in design, but it's really just a way for people to come and learn about how, what it takes to be a programmer, what it takes to develop applications. Not All three of us are in school, so we yeah. don't have a whole lot of free time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we're not going to pay for it. The main thing is, of course, the, the prizes. Uh, there are some raffle, but there are some that are going to be awarded based on merit. This is nice. This is nice. This is a nice one. So there's going to be a judging at the very end of this, and people are going to be awarded prizes for that. Uh, the other thing, too, is Microsoft has helped uh, work with some of the sponsors so that if there are students that are in the top three, uh, they'll be given an opportunity to even speak to recruiters. So if anybody's looking at this video and uh, is looking to hire three programmers, let us know. <laughs>
first Thanks. oral doorbell. And it's not just about Microsoft, it's about all the partners that we're bringing to the table and helping the community develop and grow. Just throw yourself into the mix and you'll be surprised what you can actually develop if you allow yourself to experiment with the unknowns. All right, give a round of applause to all our winners. Thank you and thank you for being here at the third annual Reno Hackathon. It is over.